Jocelyn, we are so excited to have you a part of AUX Softball this summer. We are so pumped that you're joining us. Yes, I'm excited to be here too. Thank you, Savannah. So we got to see you in Rosemont last year. I know you came out, got to watch some games, see your friends. Being at the championship season experience and kind of getting to watch, what was it that you were like, man, I think, you know, I want to do this or join this? You know, I think it was pretty cool just to see um, a different way of playing the game too, kind of the standings that you guys have. And I've always been kind of interested to see how I would do playing in that environment versus playing in a traditional way of softball. So that's what kind of triggered me at first. I was like, I wonder if I could do good in this, probably. <laughs> but um, another thing too is just um, getting to see the – um caliber of players that you guys have and I just hear so much good things from my friends and like how much they learn from each other at AU and yes it's a competitive environment but at the same time it's like we want to lift each other up and we want to make you as good as we can while also still competing at the same time so I thought that was a really cool aspect and I'm just really excited to learn from the the vets that have been playing this game for so long Halo Sam Fisher um, Amanda Lorenz. I still feel like I'm pretty young in the game too, um, even though this is going into my third year of pro, but I'm just excited to learn and to just indulge myself into the AU um, sports side. Soft, like you said, softball side. Yeah, third year as a pro, stepping into a new space. It's going to be new teammates that change every week too. What is it about this kind of season that you're going to have this year in 2024 that you feel like you're working on or you're looking forward to most of where your game is at as a professional? I think I'm looking forward to most just, I would say, challenging myself um, of staying ahead of the game because it can get in traditional way of softball, you you can get so caught up easily and like, oh, okay, like I won't ever have to worry about facing my pitchers, you know what I mean? Because I already know what they throw. I know what they face, but like in AU, you could be facing them. They could be on your team one week. Next week, you got to figure out like, okay, what is it that they think that they know about me? How can I combat that? So I'm excited to really challenge myself in that aspect of seeing how good I can be at staying ahead of the game. So I think I'm most excited to just challenge myself for sure this summer and just to stay ahead of the game for sure. Yeah. You said how the non-traditional style that AU is kind of intrigued you. I feel like you're fully stepping into the non-traditional this summer, playing with the Savannah Bananas, then coming to AUX, uh, then going to finish out the summer with the OKC Spark. What was it about the Bananas experience that you were like, oh, I'm I'm definitely all in on that? Because I feel like the whole country has been all in on Banana Ball. Yeah, you know, I've just been wanting to challenge myself, um, especially I'm 25 now, and I just want to see, like, how many different things I can do pertaining to my sport um, that might be different, you know, and I'm happy to be that representative face of softball, even uh, over in Banana Land, like, man, they're selling out MLB stadiums, you know, and I just want to be that person to... To say that a girl can step into a guy's face and do it. And I want to get a little bit out of my comfort zone. And again, I just want to continue to break glass ceilings for women because women's sports is trending right now. And there's nothing better than watching women compete. And again, being the first girl at Bananas was an experience that I can't even put into words. And then to step over from WPS to AUX, um, along with the other athletes as well. Um, it's just something that I'm excited to do again. There's no better place to be than AUX, than Banana Land, than just playing softball, to be honest. This summer is packed for you. Starting off there, going to Wichita, then going back to OKC. Is there an overarching goal that you feel like you've set for yourself this upcoming year to just try all these new things? as a person and then also as a player too, like you really set yourself up to have some new experiences and then also some challenges. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm just excited to see and put myself in situations that I'm not normally comfortable in to see how good I can thrive in those positions. Because again, I, I don't ever want to be complacent. And I feel like coach Gasso would even tell me too, like, Hey, you need to, 
you know, step out of your comfort zone. And she's always saying like, if you're comfortable where you are, then that's not good. So get uncomfortable, get comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So mm-hmm. I'm just excited to see how much I can grow as a person and um, just to really propel this sport forward. Like that's been my goal since day one. Um, I have little sisters as well, and I would love for them to play professional softball. And I wanted to make sure that it's in the best shape possible. And I think by doing these things, by playing AUX, by doing banana ball, it just goes to show that women can compete in these situations, even if it's um, a male led situation. You know, I just want them to see that if I can do it, anyone can do it. So I'm just excited to be that role model to little girls and little boys everywhere, but I want to propel this sport forward because I know that it can be successful. And yeah, especially with it being back in the Olympics now, it's like, man, softball deserves this coverage. And any way I can help do that, I'm willing to do anything for this sport. Absolutely. Jocelyn Allo making her AU Pro Softball debut June 10th in Wilkinsonian at Wichita State. We are so excited to have you and are so glad you're on the roster and that you can continue this journey and in stepping into who you fully are with AU. We're so glad you're here. Yes, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. That was perfect. I'm a little fancy. <laughs>